Hello, and welcome back to As the Cauldron Bubbles podcast. This is your special host, Jasmine, and I'm very excited to bring my very special, intelligent, kind, beautiful, and charismatic guest on the podcast today. Thanks, Jazz. My name is Cora Magdalene. Cora Magdalene, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So tell them a little bit about how we met, Cora. Because it's a story. It is. Uh, Oddities Expo. What year was it? 2000. 16, 17. The years of 18, 19? <laughs> I don't remember. 2018. 18. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was 2018. And I walked up to get a tarot reading. The tarot. The tarot. You know, I walked up to get tarot and... uh, Describe the experience walking up, Cora. I was a little bit intimidated. You know, Jazz is a strong, powerful woman. You know. (laughs) And I'm over here. She's looking at me funny and asking me about all these things I don't know, thinking I know of them. Jazz, why don't you tell them your your perspective? I have a very different memory of this. And it's been a while. And I've slept a bit since then. You, like, had a look on your face like... I thought you just, like, came into the booth. I did come into the booth. Yeah. And I was supposed to see someone else. I don't remember, like... You had to look. Like, that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember thinking, no, yeah, you're right. Because I remember thinking, who is this girl? And why is she coming over my booth to try to peep game or something? Yeah. I'm like. And I don't know what. Because I looked looked at Cora and I was like, okay, so here is another witch coming into my booth. And I thought, you know. You know how it is in the game, babe, in the industry. People get messy sometimes. Real messy. gets messy. (laughs) Real messy. And I kind of thought, I was like, oh, so this person, so this person is coming in over here to my booth to basically see how we're really doing stuff. So that way they can try to peep game. And I'm over here just wanting a genuine tarot reading. But was I wrong? Not entirely. And I, you pulled something of pinnacles, and you're like, you already know. And I'm like, I really don't. Can you explain? And you talked about my job. And you were very right. Yeah. And I need, it was some of like, this isn't like the long term, there's something else. And then, down the line, I, it wasn't the right job, and I moved on. And I remember when you came to the booth, um, yeah, like at first I was like, I, I kind of thought that you were coming for ulterior motives. I really was not. <laughs> and I kind of was picking up on some of the witch vibes, I think, before you knew. Yeah. It was like a little deja vu premonition moment where I was like, oh, because at Oddities, it's a whole lot of uh, non-magical folks, a whole yeah. lot of mundanes, a whole lot of quote unquote muggles, dare I say. Oh, dare you who, say. You know, Oddities, it's a festival that is for the strange and the unusual. Mm-hmm. So people like me are like, we're a spectacle there, you know, because we're strange and unusual. And like, let's go get a tarot written by the big chested fucking gypsy bitch. Exactly. The, you know? And so... But you were different to me than some of those people because I was like, oh, this is another magical folk. And maybe she's coming in here, maybe not necessarily for a tarot reading, but to see how I run how I run this so they can go peep game and go run something of themselves, which is fine. Because there's, I mean, there's plenty of room for everybody here, you know. But I just, I wasn't sure about your intentions. And then once I started laying cards, I was like, okay, we don't know we're a witch yet. Huh, yeah. Harry Potter. 
Right. Come on. What's funny about it, though, is uh, at Pagan Pride, we, me and one of my best friends were lined up Iger Booth, and the line, the wait was like over an hour long. <laughs> yeah. And so we we were waiting, waiting, and we were just like, well, okay, no, this ain't the time. And then oddities rolled around. So this is the second time she I actually saw you. She said, not the time you. or the place. No, but I remember seeing you at Pagan Pride. So that was, but oddities was where I found We met it. Yeah. officially. Yeah. Officially, if you will. Your, right, your booth was right in front of the sword swallowers. And I remember giving you some flyers to come to some classes. And then I went to my first class was tarot, I believe, because it was at the old. Um, yeah, the old shop. Yeah. And I loved that class. Taught me a lot. What did you think of, like, coming to the tarot class? Like, what was your expectations coming to TTC versus what was the reality well, of what you actually got from the class. I So when I got a reading from you, I already owned a tarot deck, but didn't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. So when you handed me the flyer, it was like, oh, like I can actually learn it. So I went in with an open mind because I really, I tried to learn on Biddy Tarot and that is very confusing. Um, but I, my expectations were probably how Biddy Tarot was where you go over each card, but the reality of the class is like you broke it down into suits and numbers, the numerology of it, the major arcana, the royal arcana, the, my, what is it? Royal major and um, minor. minor arcana. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. And you made it a lot easier to understand for people that find it hard to learn. Because I had a cheat sheet with all the numerology of each suit, what the suits represented. The intuitive equations. Of course. Yep, yep. And so really the reality of the class was a lot better than I guess I expected. It was a lot easier to understand and it made me like so much easier to understand to where I can like use it on my own and know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the whole point of TTC is to basically get you to a point where you feel comfortable at least reading tarot for yourself, if not for reading tarot for others, whether, you know, it's part of your personal practice or as a service for others. Like, that's kind of the whole point of TTC. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, whether it becomes part of, like, your trade and, like, what you do for a living or whether it's just, like, something for yourself. Yeah, and I actually did a festival using the knowledge Jazz gave me for my local festival. And um, I made a few, like, regular clients. Okay. Yeah. Come on, regular clients. Exactly. It's just a small handful. But, yeah. you know, they keep they message me and they want to come back. They say I'm great. And it makes me feel good that I'm doing a good job. So how was your first experience doing your own festival? That... Okay, was, I liked that I did it, and I made, like, good, ex I had a good experience, met a lot of people, and I didn't have one bad reading, although I had tons of skeptics, and it, like, every time the skeptics would leave, like, they were satisfied, and they, it was above what they thought, so that was fun. Uh, festivals, though, is very hard. Um, I had my aunt, actually, she was my cash register lady. Gotta have a booth back. She was my booth babe. <laughs> and funny story about that. Um, her friends at work, my aunt's friends, got readings from me, and now they keep coming back as well. So yeah, they actually just reached out to me Monday. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. About something I pulled in the cards, and it's happening. So. So what do you feel like was like one of the biggest things that you feel like you really took away from? Um, your first tarot class. My first tarot class? Or upon completing the course? I guess upon completing. Yeah. Um, how beneficial tarot is, at least just for me, um, and working, help, it helps me see the bigger picture of, like, my life, you know, and maybe combine with, you know, a little rich, rich, richer, 
Witchery. 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 You know, but it helps you, like, take the proper steps, maybe see what may help or hinder you. Um, it's just beneficial. It's kind of therapeutic for me. Mm -hmm. And I can also help others, so that makes me happy, too, because I already like helping others. And you took some other classes, too. I did. Um, I took palmistry, and that was very fun. I work with a surgeon who is Hindu, so that was fun when I was going through your classes and practicing at work. Me and him would compare, like, reading palms. <laughs> it was just fun. I, I worked at a Catholic hospital, and uh, so that was fun. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. Yeah. The palmistry was very fun and Jazz actually asked me to be one of her one-on-one's hands. Yeah. So that was fun. Yeah, I had you come back for the next round or a private tutoring session or mm -hmm. private tutoring private session. Private tutoring. Yeah. I was like, "Hey, you want to like let me you want to give me a hand?" <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. And then I took the astro the first astrology. Beginner's, Beginners. astrology. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of that? I loved it. Because um, I've always been into astrology. And uh, that helped me understand, like, the basics of the planets, the houses, um, the signs. Just to get a basic picture of how to do a natal chart. And I've used that on my own natal chart. And that was fun. Helps you really make sense of everything in your life. And I think you took cardamancy too. Cardamancy. You took like a full year. I did. Of classes. I like learning. <laughs> Committed to excellence. What can we say? I was star pupil. You know? you know. You know, as you do. Uh, cardamancy for me was a bit harder than the other classes. Was Just, it really? It really was. Harder than astrology? Yeah. Really? Only because I'm very, like, visual, and... It's very red or black. It's very red or black, and <laughs> it's hard to... Like, even though there's numerology with it, it's hard for me to not... To look at something and not see, like, a picture. You know, I don't know. It was just harder to learn for me. Mm hmm I still enjoy the class, and I still have my deck in there, so... The good cardamancy back. The good map look. Uh, of course, oh, a good game of my luck. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> what other class? Did you take other classes or was I that? Took workshops, I believe. Lunar astrology? No, I didn't have time for that. Candle one. magic? Sigil craft class? I think it was the candle magic. It's been a while, Ben. It's been a while. Been out of the game. So, out of all the classes that you took, what do you think is some of the biggest stuff that, like, has stuck with you basically everything about tarot because that's like the main thing i do is the tarots the tarots you know um and i like doing it like for my friends or family because i have like friends and family that are also into stuff like that but they don't know how to do it, so they always come for me, come to me for like a reading or a tarot investigation or a tarot. I mean, Tupac and Biggie cracking the case, but always on it. We know how to solve mysteries. Yes. So <laughs> I love a good tarot size. Love a good tarot investigation. It's fun. I think that was probably one of my favorite things about the TTC is like. You know, the first week is very, like, introductionary and, like, vocabulary. Yeah. The second week is, like, okay, let's start breaking down this, breaking down that, but mm -hmm. then let's, like, actually start doing tarot sizes, like, tarot exercises. And speaking of tarot, I was going through <coughs> my photos from earlier this year, and you did a live, and you're pulling cards for what the year's going to bring, and my card was the sun, and you said it would be, I would have reversals, and I would have uprights. And I'm very just, high highs, very, very low, low lows. lows. <laughs> and let me just say, you're not a liar. You know? <laughs> you're not a liar. You gotta believe in the heart of the cards, babe. Oh, oh I hashtag believe Hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? And need I remind you, I got the Loki card as well. Okay, little chaos. A little bit. A little bit. Just a tiny bit. A dose. 
Not playing games. N no. <laughs> <laughs> So what would you say for anyone listening who's like thinking about taking a class, like what advice would you give them in terms of like the classes that you took and what classes would you recommend taking first or? I would recommend astrology first. The kids. The, the kids. kids. <laughs> I would recommend astrology first because it lays that really good foundation. It does lay a foundation because... Like, palmistry and tarot. Oh, palmistry, I feel like especially, is, is rough. Yes. and Without an astrological it, foundation. It really is. And I took palmistry, I think, before I took astrology. Mm-hmm. So I definitely would suggest taking astrology first and have... Yeah, and it does influence tarot, too. It does. I mean, there's... Uh, what is it? The uh, Wheel of Fortune mm -hmm. card? Um... I just think astrology is like the basic, the building block for really everything in the craft. I it feel really like. is. Whether it's divination or spell work, palmistry, tarot, cardomancy, yes. candle magic. Like astrology is kind of, I feel like. The foundation. Yeah. Yeah. So I would recommend astrology first and then I would say tarot. Um, and then palmistry tarot was my absolute favorite class though did you take the advanced tarot workshop i believe maybe that was the workshop that you were thinking uh, of yeah yeah it was and we talked about like i think like telling time mm -hmm. and the seasons and yeah and yes or no yes mm -hmm. or no getting like because tarot can be so esoteric and like woo woo and it can be easy to like ask a yes or no question from a tarot deck and get right. like a much bigger answer than just yeah. yes or no, you know? And so I think that the advanced tarot workshop also covers that. And then a lot of tarot sizes a lot. and investigations. And it's very fun. I love it. Well, something fun. So yeah, recommending astrology first. I agree with that. I think that astrology is very much like the foundation for most things in the craft for sure it really is and i and i recommend people to take astrology first if they can yeah you know if they're able to because i do think that like having some sort of understanding with astrology helps kind of like just lay the groundwork yeah yeah but I've had students before, like, come into, like, palmistry. Like, you came into palmistry and hadn't taken astrology. And, like, you know, there there is a separate set of challenges, I feel like, that comes along with learning a divination method like palmistry yes. that uses so much astrology if you don't have much of an astrological understanding. Mm -hmm. Where it does make it kind of more advanced. And, like, you do kind of have to do more work outside the classroom mm -hmm. to kind of keep up with the material. Well, and even if you just do the beginner's astrology before something like palmistry, that will be really beneficial. Just have, like, the beginning, the basic astrology down at least. But you passed the palmistry class. You got your like certification. You know? You know? You know? You know? You got your certification. Got to hang it on my walls. Isn't Hanging it? on the walls. The writing on the walls. Damn right. In my office. So, um, tarot was your favorite. Yes. And how has tarot really benefited you? It helps me through my hard times. Like I said, it's very therapeutic. And it's more... The cards tell you what you need to hear. Not necessarily what you want to hear. So it's more constructive and it it's helped me make changes, like positive changes in my life to better myself. And sometimes you just need that extra push from something outside of yourself to make those changes. And yeah, I mean, it's it's really helped my life. That's awesome. Yeah. Tarot's great. It is. Tarot's great. The witchery's great. It really is. And it works if you work it. Very true. She doesn't lie. It works if you work it. And I feel like the more, you know, 
of your energy you put in, mm-hmm. the more you get back so much. Exactly. From working the practice and working those those steps, mm-hmm. if you will. I agree. Well, thank you so much for coming out of the podcast and thank you for having me, you know, talking to me and everyone about your experience of taking some classes. And I highly recommend, highly recommend. They helped me a lot. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye.